hiring managers of Reddit, what is the worst answer an interviewee gave you? After very vague and empty answers to the standard questions, the guy was clearly not making an effort. So I asked him, do you really want a job here? He looked me straight in the eye and said, number. My mom forced me to put in all these applications and answered the phone when you called so I had to come in. I sat in on an interview. This is a career type position. Huge, professional company. Everything goes well. And the last question. So where would you like to see yourself either the future with this company? Oh no. I think this just sounds like a chill job for the summer. Myself. What can you tell me about? Interviewee. Hold on. Hold on. They're talking about my boy on the tube right now. Work at a bar running the kitchen. This guy cut me off to watch sports center. Did not hire. If my boy was really a family member, I'm with him. If it was some random sports dude, frick him. What was your reason for leaving your previous employer? Cuz I hate retail. You do realize that a grocery store is also retail, right? Yeah. Most people in retail hate retail lol. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Probably using my phone as a mirror. This was when the Nokia brick was the current cell phone. I would have hired him if I knew he could predict the future but at the time that seemed stupid. You met a prophet and didn't hire him. What is your biggest weakness? Sometimes I get really angry and cannot control myself. It's gotten me in legal trouble in the past. This one girl, interviewing for a six-figure senior project management role, indicated that she had problems with her previous boss. Sensing a possible red flag, I casually asked what was the nature of the problem. She said basically he wanted me to come into the office like, every freaking day. While I was digesting this, she followed up with would you want me to work every day too? I said well the job is full time, Monday to Friday, um so yes I guess we would. She thankfully said then I don't think this job is for me. I was looking around for the cameras. I was sure it was a practical joke, but it wasn't. If I had the option to work a six figure job I'd do everything I could to learn how to do that job. I was being interviewed for a retail job at Yankee Candle. He asked, what's your favorite scent for a candle? I said, I prefer unscented candles. I didn't get the job. Interviewed a guy this week who showed up high AF and stank of booze. Knew he wasn't suitable for the position. Based on the showing up high and booze scent part, but had to go through the interview motions, for reasons of pleasantries. Asked him what his desired hourly wage was. He said mornings. Yes I would like to be paid around 8 mornings per hour starting, but with negotiable terms. I worked where HR had a stranglehold on the process of bringing in candidates. Often they sent ones with zero experience or aptitude for the position. One of the best examples. So tell me, what experience do you have that qualifies you for the senior healthcare systems analyst position? I worked at 7-Eleven. In IT? No. Night shift at the one on Fremont Boulevard. Can you tell me about a time you went above and beyond for a customer? Well the store was about to close and this lady came up to me looking for a gift for a 3 year old boy, but she didn't know what he liked or anything, and my shift was about to end so I got Karen to help her instead. Haha <laughs> I was asked this when I was in high school. My answer was a customer once came in looking for an iron, so I showed him where the irons were. The interviewer just stared at me for a couple of seconds then went okay. Next question. I'm a retail manager and recently an applicant answered the standard why do you want to work here with. My girl is pregnant and it's easier than McDonald's. When I asked him to elaborate on that he said that while working at McDonald's he was fired for sleeping while on the clock. And he knows he could get away with that at our store. Oh geez. I seriously have tons of these. How would you rate your conflict resolution skills? Oh I'd say I get conflicts resolved pretty easily. I used to be a waitress. And that's why I seriously can't freaking stand people. What? I always like resumes that are nearly spotless. But have incredibly bad emails. This is unprofessional. And we do notice. Seriously. Me. Why are you leaving your current position? Him. All of my co-workers are stupid. 
I hate being a manager. My direct report is so incompetent. I reported him to the CEO, but he hasn't gotten fired yet. This was for a supervisor position on a highly collaborative team. Not myself, but my boss interviewed someone. He asked them what their last job was. I worked at a competitor for three weeks. Oh, that's interesting. Why such a short time, expecting to hear how terrible it was. They are known for being terrible to their employees. Oh, I got fired in training because I didn't meet performance standards. Do you mind taking a drug test? Oh, I can tell you I'll pass. Amazing, but I have to do it. Paperwork and all. Proceeds to discuss the best way to grow, treat, and smoke weed. Yeah, well I'll call you when I make my decision. Good luck with that new job until you need to take a drug test. Oh don't worry about that, I know everything about drugs. Me, what does this bullet point on your resume mean? I haven't heard that term before. Him, oh, I'm not sure, my wife wrote it. Not a hiring manager, just HR, but there was an absolutely terrible interviewee. She came in fine and started out okay, but then I went to look at something on her CV and she went I'd like you to look at me when you're talking to me. Then, halfway through the interview she said yeah, I guess I've always been a quick learner. I jumped two years, graduating really quick, completely forgetting that she had actually written the dates of her graduation on her CV. Other than that, we just get the odd drunk high person in on an interview. I don't know why some people come in while under the influence of some drug. But there was one guy who told me he did it for the nerves. He was staggering when he showed up and kept losing the red thread while we were talking. Not sure if his nerves were calm, but his speech was nonsensical. Maybe she started out on the 6 year plan to graduate. I received a job offer that I was certainly taking as I was preparing to go to a different interview. Literally sitting in the parking lot to kill time. I went to the interview and he asked where do you see yourself in 5 years as one of the first questions. Not really giving a crap I said something like tearing up some sweet fresh Colorado powder on a weekly basis. I figured this was basically saying there's no way I intended to stay there long term because the company was on the east coast. Turns out the interviewer was an avid skier and we talked skiing for the next 15 minutes. Got that offer too. When you wrote tearing up some sweet fresh powder, I didn't realize you were talking about skiing. I was in the middle of an interview when one of the candidates pulled a book out of his backpack and just started reading it. It took me a second to shake off what he was doing it was just so out of the blue. I got frustrated and asked him what the heck are you doing? He just looks at me deadpan and asks if you're in a truck traveling at the speed of light. Then, you turn your lights on. Would anything happen? I just said I don't know and he stood up and said fine. I don't want to work for you anyway and walked out. I had no idea what the heck to say to my colleague so we just went on with the day like nothing else. I never forgot it though. I'm not a hiring manager but I totally blew an interview at a Danish company. The guy interviewing me had an accent that sounded just like Goldmember in Austin Powers. All I could think of was the line where he says, yes, I have a Dutch accent and I'm Dutch, isn't that weird? I couldn't focus and could barely keep from laughing. I had no good answers for him and his three helpers. You have a very toit body. Yes toit like a toija. We were hiring for an IT support position at a large organization. The entire interview panel is in suits and every applicant up until now had been the same. The guy turns up in jeans and a hoodie. That might fly for smaller startups or whatever but it's a huge strike against him here. Anyway we get into the interview and about halfway and he takes his hoodie off and he has this graphic t-shirt on with a big wee leaf on it. We had very strict questions we can and can't ask people in an interview and no one knows what to do. So we go through the rest of the interview but his shirt is this huge elephant in the room no one is acknowledging. We get to the end of the interview and as we are about to send him off my team let blurts out can you explain what your shirt is about? He looks down at it and goes oh, it's laundry day. In the interview for my current job, I mentioned that at my internship, one of my duties was testing the viscosity of paints, basically how thick the liquid is. The interviewer asked, when you measured viscosity, did you use instruments? I was a few hours into multiple rounds of interviews at that point, so I couldn't stop myself from sarcastically replying, no, I just ran my fingers through it. 
I mean, you got the job. Why did you leave the last restaurant? They weren't down with my summer schedule. She had over 8 weekends she couldn't work due to summer music festivals. But I got them back. They got a visit from the health department the next day. Had a great one last week. Hiring for an entry level tech support position. It's entry level. So I don't expect the candidates to know much. But still. This guy is a recent grad from a technical program. And lists pretty much every flavor of windows in his IT skills. Okay. So I ask him what he feels like is the best operating system for corporate desktop PCS. He looks at me like I've asked him for the recipe for coca cola. Stutters for a moment. And then informs me that he really loves the OS on his new iPhone 7. Yeah, it's way better than the old one. So this is probably his choice. The iPhone OS. For desktop PCS. He did not get a second interview. Best Buy interview. If you encounter a troublesome customer doubting your knowledge, how would you proceed to reassure them you're indeed knowledgeable about your product? What does troublesome mean? Who the heck expects a Best Buy worker to be knowledgeable? Even specialist stores don't have knowledgeable workers these days. I had a candidate come in that claimed responsibility for leading a project that I did at a prior company. I shelled him with questions for about 10 minutes about it when he finally asked how do you know so much about it I smiled and responded because I was the person who actually led it. Had a guy show up 15 minutes late for an interview. The department I was hiring for was desperate for help. So I asked him if I sat him for an interview if he could make me want to hire him. He said yes. During the interview, I asked why he was late. He said he couldn't get a ride from his freaking girlfriend. I asked him if that was a common problem. Yeah, she likes to smoke a lot and forgets when you're ask her crap. I informed him that the interview was over and we were not going to be hiring him. He stands up and says, I was late cause of that B. You can't hold that against me then he storms out, muttering various curses and sexist slurs under his breath. In Ireland, getting the ride means having sex. No wonder he was in a bad mood. Hiring an entry level help desk position. Guy had a really good resume so we invited him in for our standard help desk testing. It's a basic test that is used to gauge your skill level. The test wasn't used in determining your employment just if we hired you where we would need to begin training for you. However those that performed better on the skill test generally fared better since it was an IT related position. Part of the test was to load some files on a thumb drive that we provided from a laptop. Very basic skills test. One guy fumbled through it for a few minutes and couldn't get the thumb drive to come up on the laptop. He unplugged it, rotated and plugged it in over and over. Nothing he tried worked. After 5 minutes I told him not to worry about it. I would retrieve the files later. His response was an exasperated I'm sorry. I could show you I know how to load files on a thumb drive if the laptop wasn't broken. To which I replied it isn't. You were plugging the thumb drive into the ethernet port. To clarify the ethernet port was on the side of the laptop so it's likely he was just flustered. Though he did poorly on the rest as well. Also we were not allowed to help candidates. Even with simple things such as this. I wanted to tell him to examine the ports. However HR told us our verbiage had to be verbatim between candidates. So if I informed him where the USB port was I would need to inform all candidates. Boggles my mind. Jeez. That's not even really an IT related thing that's more just ground zero basic computer use skills. I once had a guy in his mid 30s. About 10 years of experience software engineering. The first real question in our interview process is just having the candidate pick something they've done that they enjoyed think is impressive and tell us about it. So, we ask him to do it, and he's like meh. So I pick the most recent item on his resume. A job he's been at for 2 years. But what do you do there? Oh, it's a job for a monkey. I basically just mediate between two teams. I'm not really sure why that's even a role. Okay, I guess that's why you're leaving. So, what about this next one? Oh, that was truly moronic. They just launches into a seriously unimpressive description. And on, and on. In 10 years, he hasn't had a single role he deems worthwhile. And worse than that, he's doing a great job convincing us of that fact. Now, as an interviewer, what am I supposed to think? That you only land crap jobs because of some ancient Egyptian curse or something? 
We didn't end it there just in case he was a hidden gem of technical skills. He wasn't, but that's easily the worst I've ever seen anyone do at that question. Is there anything that will prevent you from getting to work on time? I smoke medical marijuana for my back problems so I could be late or may not be able to come in on some days. This was in a state where medical marijuana was illegal at that time. I smoke daily for medical reasons and I have to say it has never affected me being somewhere on time. If it does you have an issue and I'm betting you really aren't using it medically. Not a hiring manager, but I discussed that with the one on my company. This one guy came to interview for a job as a software developer. According to his resume, he had a master's in computer science. It came to simple test, and the guy didn't know the modulus operator. Really, dude? It came to simple test, and the guy didn't know the modulus operator. Let me guess. Fizzbuzz. I was a young retail manager. I'm in my 20s. I interviewed a woman in her 40s. I introduced myself and shook her hand. Who's your boss she started with? I replied. I am the store manager. She says. You're young enough to be my son. We hadn't even sat down yet. I also usually asked interviewees what superpower they would want if they could have any. One kid responded with go invisible. It'd be nice to sneak around and watch people. Really weird answer and raised some red flags in retail. Although one girl answered with to reach into my pocket and always have exact change. Best answer I ever heard. Hired dispatchers 4911. We have a panel interview with three dispatchers, a supervisor, and the hiring manager. It's pretty standard to go back over a document that is required by state law called a personal history statement. You have to disclose all your criminal family employment history. One of the questions asks when you last used marijuana. His answer in his PHS was around 5 years ago. Fine don't care. His answer to the panel was something along the lines of, I was real nervous about this interview so I smoked one up in the car before I came in. All at once everyone turns to look at me like WFT. He didn't get the job. And yes, I know everyone uses weed. And yes I'm all on board for legalizing it. However it is pretty poor decision making to smoke out right before an interview at a police department. I wouldn't do a few shots right before the interview. I had one person basically just rail their old job for about 5 minutes during an interview. We cut the interview pretty short because there wasn't a chance we were hiring this person. I'm not personally a hiring manager but I have relevant story. A long time ago at an old job, we had a VP who was controversial for being generally incompetent and antisocial. X. Everyone's interactions with consisted of persistent low level sexual harassment. Impossible to respect the guy. One day he is fired. Much to everyone's surprise since we figured that if he managed to stick around as long as he had then he would never leave. We later heard about the last straw for the company president. The company was hiring for a market research type role. And this Dallard VP always did the first round interviews. Second round and a candidate is invited back. On the VP's recommendation to the president. The president goes into the second interview with his candidate. Supposedly vetted by the VP and inches away from a job offer. And ask the basic question of why he want to work for this company. Presumably the VP asked this right off the bat the week before. Really I just want to get bartending off my resume. Why did you leave your last job? I was fired. Oh how come? I said I wanted to go to university next year. And did you go to university? Yes. I got my HND in mechanical engineering so I could apply for jobs in places like this. Oh that's nice. I didn't get the job because I said I got fired from my last job. I thought it was a pretty good reason though but apparently not. That's where you slightly bend the truth and tell them you left to focus on your studies to further your career. Saying you got fired is a huge red flag, even if it's true. I asked him what he thought about the works of Chekhov, and he said that Chekhov didn't really do all that much, but had a cool accent. I like his gun. Not an interviewee question, but it's astonishing how many emails we get that just say something like give me a job, and that's it. These threads always make me so freaking sad and angry about the people that get called in for interviews and I can't even get a call back. Hiring managers, please take notes. 
This isn't quite an answer to an interview question but I feel it's related. I tried to give an internship to someone in Washington DC. It was during a time when there was lots of ISIS chatter fear on television. I knew the girl from a friend and she was qualified for the post. She just had to show up to her interview with myself and my superior to prove she was normal. At 3am the morning of the interview she sent me a message saying that she was too afraid to get on the train to go to the interview because she thought ISIS was going to blow it up. Two weeks later she calls me asking if she could reschedule and if she could take me out to dinner to apologize she didn't get the job. Me. Why do you want to leave your current position? Her. I don't like waitressing. The customers are annoying. I don't want to work nights or weekends. Me. This is retail and our interview is over. Thank you for coming in. Former HR told me he was interviewing a girl for a management position and when he asked what her management style was like she replied. I keep my game 100 all the time. White girl. Oh I almost forgot the time that I was interviewing a girl and her boyfriend called the store and asked to speak to her. I asked him if it was an emergency and he said. Yeah she said she had an interview there and I'm making sure that's where she really is. Girl seemed really nice but nope. Sad. Some abusers fear the loss of control when their victims try to improve their lives. Job interviews can be threatening to them because they provide income, which could help them leave, allow them to regularly see people who may notice problems, co-workers, and may help them build the self-confidence to leave. My mother once interviewed a guy for a university job and when she asked him what historical figure he most admires and he said Hitler. The guy wasn't even white and it's unclear if it's just that he was uneducated or like he was trying to be interesting but he did not get the job, obviously. I've read about people in Asia who have no idea about the holocaust and wear pro Hitler shirts around. Not an interview, but application questions. A teenage girl came in with her mom and dropped it off. Why do you want to work here? Because my mom wants a discount. Are you legally entitled to work in Canada? I don't know, but I'm willing to learn. That mom coached her to say that in answer to questions she didn't know. That's freaking hilarious. I sometimes steal things. Not too much. Just little things. Like candy or a couple dollars. I asked them to tell me a strong point and a weakness. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.